I am so excited today. Finally, we are at the last vlog on Luke chapter 8. Although I love the scripture, the parable of the sower, it's been a long one. Okay, so here's the thing. Jesus tells the parable of the sower. The seed is the word of God. And the seed falls on the first ground, and the birds of the air and the devil comes and, and steals it or crushes it up. So the seed is totally useless. Nothing grows. Then Jesus says the second one is the seed falls on soil, goes in soil, but the rocks are uh, very high and the roots can't go in. So the plant during times, testing, trials, tribulation, it either dies, it's not nourished, or it blows away. Then he goes on and he said the third one is the thorns. The seed, the Word of God goes in, worry, pleasures, laziness, all this stuff, it stops, the thorns kill the Word of God. Okay, then he says, but the fourth one is the good soil, a good noble heart. It hears, and we dealt with this a couple of weeks ago, retains, we dealt with that. We dealt last week with persevere. This is last week, are you ready? It hears, retain, persevere, and it produces. But here's the scripture, are you ready? It produces a hundred times more than was sown. Can I just share this with you? When was the last time the Word of God produced a hundred times more in your life and my life than was sown? Yet Jesus said that's what the Word is supposed to do. Now, here's the craziest part about producing. The fact is this, that a lot of us think producing means perfection, and it's not. Illustration, in the last six months, I've been asking God to help me produce the fruit of the Spirit in my life. So I hear the Word, I've memorized Scripture, I'm trying to absorb it, retain it, I'm trying to uh, persevere, and trust me, He's been sending everything to test me on this one. And there's some days that I can see the hand of God where I have produced the fruit of the Spirit through the Holy Spirit's power and through the Word. And there's some days when I haven't been perfect. Why do we always major on the minor instead of major on the major? I want to thank God for the last six months, the journey I've been on, with just this one scripture, the fruit of the Spirit, that's it where I have had so many victories where if the old Billy was in charge, he would have just ripped people's head off or screamed. Or, and yes, I have lost it a few times. But the point is this, I do, and even my wife will say, you've really improved. The Word of God is not there for anything else but to take you all the way so you can produce. And here's the craziest thing. All of hell doesn't want you to. Please, I beg you, study Luke chapter 8, the parable of the sower. Just don't read it, study it. And here's the key you need to do in it. What can I do? What should I do? How can I apply this? What does it say for me, and how can I do this? If there's anything I can leave you today, it says, Luke chapter 8, parable of sower. The Holy Spirit will change your life if this scripture becomes part of you. Have a great day.